Martin McNeil not only admitted he killed his wife, he bragged about it, according to his former cellmate. The revelation came out when Jason Poyer asked McNeil about his comfortable shoes, not available to other prisoners. They were specially made, I guess. Okay. So you were asking how do I get a pair of those kind yes. of as a joke? Yes. Um, what did he say? He said, no, you can't. And I said, well, how do you, how do you get away with that? And he's like, I, I can get away with a lot of things. Did he say he, he murdered his wife? He didn't say it like that, but he said, I'm getting away with murdering my wife. Poyer was the fourth of five inmates to testify for the prosecution. The others did so off camera, still incarcerated and fearing for their safety by snitching on McNeil. The inmates testified McNeil confessed to killing his wife, but without actually saying it. He said he gave her some oxy and some sleeping pills and then um, got her to get in the bathtub. Did he say what he did next? Um, later on, he just said he had to help her out. And I asked him what that was, and he said he held her head under the water for a little while. He said that she was in the way, that she wanted the house and the kids. He said they couldn't prove that he, you know, did anything. Prosecutors charged Dr. McNeil killed his wife of 30 years by drowning her in the family bathtub after plying her with a potent mix of medications. Also, he could marry his mistress, Gypsy Willis. I just went up to him and said, hey, man, I apologize about your wife. And he goes, I'm, not, I'm glad the bitch is dead. Did Martin talk to you at all about the relationship he had with his wife before she died? There was uh, going downhill that they're trying to get his money. She was not gonna let him keep cheating on him, keep cheating on her. That was all a lie, of course, right? Yes, it was. While the defense called them liars and attempted to poke holes in their story, Poyer said he and McNeil shared poetry while behind bars together, and McNeil was writing a book about his life story. Afterward, I was done reading his autobiography. I asked him, you know, are you serious about this? About what? about murdering your wife. What do you say? And he goes, yes, I'm serious. I mean, look where I'm at. And I immediately told the guards I need to switch uh, sections. Why was that? I didn't want to be around him.